hello everyone and welcome to my channel make it yourself so in today's video we are going to learn how to make these beautiful green and pink posters and the witch's cauldron so this video is specifically for halloween so you can use these cauldrons to store the coasters and you can fold them in the previous method that i showed or you can just layer them up on top of each other in this way and it will look like these cauldrons are filled with witch's potion and which is uh, as you can see there are also bubbles on top of the coasters so it looks like a bubbling pot of potion with in a witch's cauldron uh, also please refer to the description for things needed for today's project so we're going to start by making the coasters we are going to use this uh, pink kind of yarn pink purplish yarn and make a magic ring and then we're going to chain one to hold the magic ring in place we're going to take the magic ring out and into this magic ring we're going to make 12 double crochets so this is the first double crochet and the second double crochet the third double crochet the fourth double crochet the fifth double crochet the sixth double crochet so repeat this pattern and complete a total of 12 double crochets the chain one that we did at the beginning of uh, this round does not count as a stitch so we are considering only the double crochets as the stitches so we should be having a total of 12 double crochets at the end of this round uh, you can make the coaster uh, in green color as well like i showed you at the beginning of the video so you can make either this purplish pink or green coasters using the same pattern so after the 12 so this is a 12 double crochet we're going to pull the tail yarn at the center and close the magic ring now we're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch so exactly on top of the first double crochet make a slip stitch and then chain one so for round number two we are going to start off with a double crochet in the same stitch that you made the uh, chain one and after that we're going to chain one now again make a double crochet in the next stitch and then chain one and then again repeat this process of making one double crochet and then chaining one so we will repeat this uh, sets of one double crochet and chain one a total of 12 times so by the end of round number two you should have a total of 12 double crochets and 12 chain ones in between them so overall you'll have 24 uh, stitches but you'll have 12 double crochets and 12 chain one now at the after the last double crochet you will uh, chain one again and then you'll be uh, slip stitching to the top of the first double crochet so to the top of the first double crochet make a slip stitch and then chain one again now this chain one again doesn't count as a stitch and make a double crochet on top of this same stitch and into the chain one space we will make an increase so that means we'll be making two double crochets under the chain one space so make two double crochets under the chain one space and on top of the double crochet make another double crochet so we'll make one double crochet on top of the double crochet of the previous round and in the chain one space we are going to make two double crochets or we can say we are making an increase so you'll be repeating this uh, set of one double crochet followed by an increase a uh, total of 12 times and by the end of this round you should have a total of 36 double crochets so repeat this pattern of one double crochet 
followed by two double crochets in the chain one space till the end of this round so once you reach the last stitch uh, so make the last two double crochets in the chain one space you're going to slip stitch as usual to the top of the first double crochet and you're going to chain one for the next round and this chain one doesn't count as a stitch now you're going to turn your work after this and we are going to work in reverse and into the same stitch that you made the chain one you're first going to make a treble crochet so for a treble crochet you'll be yarning over twice and then pulling under the stitch and you'll be passing through three loops or uh, sorry uh, we'll be passing through two loops for a set of three times and into the same stitch you're going to make one single crochet also now into the very next stitch so we are working in a reverse manner so we are now since we have turned our work now into the next stitch make a treble crochet so we'll be pulling through two loops for the first time for the second set and the third set and into the same stitch make one single crochet and followed by the single crochet we'll make a slip stitch into the next stitch so let me show once more uh, a treble crochet followed by a single crochet and followed by a slip stitch so continue uh, this pattern till the end of this round so we'll be making one treble crochet and one single crochet in the same stitch and into the next stitch make a slip stitch so as you can see on the right side of the coaster you will get these bumps so the reason we turn our work because we wanted the bumps to come on the right side of the coaster so after i mean at the end we are going to complete making uh, this pattern so continue with the treble crochet and followed by the single crochet so the making the single crochet creates the bump uh, of, uh, using the treble crochet and then make the slip stitch and then we're going to work on the next round so for the next round find the stitch which is right behind the bump so this is the front side this is how it looks it has all this bumps for the last round now find the first stitch so you'll find the first stitch just behind that bump you're going to first make a slip stitch now into the next stitch insert your hook first make a single crochet and on top of the single crochet make a chain of three and you're going to make a chain three picot so to make a picot insert the hook into the base two loops of the single crochet and through them uh, through these two loops pull the yarn pull the yarn and make a slip stitch with the chain of three so again into the next stitch we're going to make a slip stitch and in the following stitch we are going to make a single crochet followed by a chain three picot so first make the single crochet followed by the chain of three and then insert your hook into the base two loops of the single crochet and then make a slip stitch so you'll be repeating the these uh, sets of a slip stitch followed by a single crochet and a chain three picot on top of the single crochet till the end of this round so continue this pattern so chain three insert hook into the base two loops make a slip stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch as well so this is how it looks on the front side or the right side of the coaster so repeat this pattern 
till the end of this round and this is the uh, last round for the coasters so as you can see this is a pretty simple and easy pattern and um, after this these coasters will move on and start working on the uh, basket or you can say the which is cauldron so last few more stitches I repeat the pattern and finish off so slip stitch in after the last uh, chain three pickle slip stitch to the last stitch so now you're going to slip stitch to the first stitch of this round so the first stitch was a slip stitch itself so just insert your hook under the loops and make a slip stitch and then you're going to chain one so that uh, a uh, knot is formed so pull the tail yarn to make the knot tight and then trim off now you have these two tail yarns you can use a needle or use a smaller crochet hook and uh, stitch in the tail yarn so here I'm using a smaller crochet hook and pulling the tail yarn through a few of the existing stitches and trimming them off and similarly for the other tail yarn also uh, you can also dab a bit of glue to the uh, ends of the tail yarn just to make sure that the yarn does not come off. So trim it off after you have stitched them in a bit. So this is how these coasters look. You can make four of these coasters. Now we are going to work on this uh, cauldron. You can make it in black color but since uh, seeing the stitches in black color is difficult so I am making it in brown so that you can see the stitches properly. So we are going to use a ma make a magic ring and we are going to chain one. Here I am using double strands of uh, size 4 yarn uh, just to make the basket a bit thicker and uh, more sturdy. So you're going to chain one. Now I'm going to take the magic ring out of your fingers and into this magic ring we're going to make eight single crochets. So the chain one does not count as a stitch and so what we can do is we can just mark after making the first single crochet just mark it using a marker if you do not have a marker you can also um, use a yarn of different color or you can also use a paper pin so make eight single crochets into the magic ring and this is round number one So after you are done with the eight single crochets in the magic ring, as usual, you'll be pulling the tail yarn to close the magic ring. So here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight stitches. Now pull the tail yarn and close the magic ring as tight as possible. And now we are going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch and since we have marked our stitch we already know which is the first stitch of this uh, round I just marked it just not to confuse it between the chain one and between the first single crochet so here too we're going to slip stitch and chain one again and here to chain one does not count as a stitch so make a single crochet into the same stitch and then mark it so that we know that this is the first stitch of this second round so once you have marked the stitch into the same uh, stitch you're going to make one more single crochet because the pattern for this round is to make an increase in each uh, stitch so you'll be making two single crochets in each of the stitches so since in the previous round you had eight single crochets so in by the end of this round you should have a total of 16 single crochets so repeat this pattern of making two single crochets in each stitch uh, till the end of the round and here since we have already marked the first stitch it is uh, easier to know that which is the first stitch also with dark yarns it is a little bit difficult to understand the or see the stitches clearly so uh, using a marker always helps 
So slip stitch to the first stitch again and chain one and now we're going to make one single crochet in that same stitch uh, where we made the chain one and we're going to mark it as this is the first stitch of this round. Now into the next stitch we're going to make an increase. So make two single crochets into the next round. So we're going to make this set of one single crochet in one stitch and an increase in the next stitch. We're going to make eight sets of them. And we'll be repeating this pattern till the end of this round such that we have a total of 24 single crochets when we reach the first stitch. So here we are almost at the end of this round. So make your last two stitches. So make one single crochet followed by an increase. Remember not to stitch in the last uh, stitch that looks like a stitch but that is just a join, it's not a stitch. So you can count the stitches just to make sure that you have the right number of stitches by the end of the round. So slip stitch to the first stitch and chain one again, chain one doesn't count as a stitch and into the same stitch make one single crochet and mark that single crochet and this is round number four and into the next stitch also make one single crochet and into the third stitch we are going to make an increase so make two single crochets on the third stitch so repeat this pattern so one single crochet followed by another single crochet in the next stitch followed by an increase in the third stitch. So repeat this till the end of this round. So here we are at the end of this round. So complete it by making one single crochet followed by the second single crochet and followed by the increase. and slip stitch as usual to the first stitch and chain one you could also do this pattern in a spiral form if that is easier for you so in that pattern you will just be uh, marking the first stitch and make a single crochet on top of the first stitch directly instead of doing a slip stitch so you can work in that form also so for this round number five the pattern is to make one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the second stitch one single crochet in the third stitch and an increase in the fourth stitch so we're going to repeat this till the end of this round one single crochet in the first stitch one single crochet in the third stitch oh sorry second stitch the third stitch and into the fourth make an increase so we'll be repeating this pattern again till the end of this round and by the end of this round you should have a total of 40 single crochets so uh, this will be the uh, uh, final round after which we are going to increase the height of the basket so we are stopping with 40 count if you want to make the basket larger you can add one more round and then start increasing the height of the basket so now we have reached the end and here we're removing the marker and for this round we will be working only on the back loop so slip stitch to the back loop of the first single crochet so this is the back loop here okay. and slip stitch to it and chain one and into the same back loop uh, make a single crochet and then mark it so the pattern for this round is to make one single crochet in each stitch so after you have marked the first uh, stitch you're going to make just one single crochet in each stitch and that too you'll be working 
only on the back loop for this entire round. So continue making the uh, single crochets on the back loop of the stitches and do this till the end of this round and since we are not increasing any stitches we should still end up with a total of 40 single crochets so remember that for this round since we're working on the back loop we have the front loop available which we will be using at the end of this video so after you have done with the last stitch you're going to slip stitch to the top of the first stitch now you can use the entire loop so just as usual uh, slip stitch to the top of the first stitch uh, chain one and this one also we're just going to make one single crochet in each stitch you can mark the first single crochet of every round so that you know that that is the stitch that you need to slip stitch to and uh, the pattern for the next uh, few rounds will be same so this is round number seven and from round number 7 till round number 11 you're just going to do the same thing that is to make one single crochet in each stitch and then slip stitch to the first stitch chain one and then again start making one single crochet in each stitch so continue this from round number 7 to round number 11 and every time uh, you can mark the first stitch if it is easier for you and similarly here too if you do not want to slip stitch every time and uh, move to the next round you can also work in a spiral uh, method so here we are done with uh, the total of 11 rounds and after the 11th round so here I'm going to slip stitch uh, at the end of the 11th round so remove the marker and slip stitch here to the first stitch and uh, for in this round we are going to make the handles on both sides so we're going to chain one and then into the same stitch make a single crochet so we're going to make six single crochets so we're going to make the first single crochet in the same stitch that we made the chain one and from then on we're going to make a total of uh, six single crochets and you can mark the first uh, stitch as usual so mark the first single crochet and then continue making your total of six single crochets and after the sixth single crochet you're going to make a chain of 10 so the chain of 10 will act as the handle uh, one of the handle for this uh, cauldron so make a chain of 10 and once you are done chaining 10 you're going to make a slip stitch on the second stitch from the hook so this is chain 10 so slip stitch on the second chain from the hook so you'll have nine stitches so just make one slip stitch on uh, each stitch or each chain and until you reach the base so continue making the slip stitches over the chain and once you reach the ninth stitch so we are almost reaching the base of this uh, chain so after the ninth stitch we are going to make continue making the single crochets so make uh, three single crochets into the next three stitches so this is the first single crochet the second single crochet and the third single crochet so after the third single crochet the fourth single crochet that you're going to make you're going to also include the other end of the handle so what you're going to do is just bend the handle in this way and insert your hook 
into the last uh, stitch of the handle so it doesn't matter which stitch it is just the ending stitch of the handle and then insert the hook into the next stitch of the basket and then when you have three loops pull a loop through all of them so this way we have connected this handle to the body now we're going to next make a total of uh, 17 single crochets so make 17 single crochets till you uh, and after that we're going to start making the next handle so continue making the single crochets till you have completed single uh, 17 single crochets and after the 17th single crochet you're going to again make a chain of 10 so now this is the 17th single crochet now we are going to sorry this is the 17th single crochet now we're going to chain 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 now we're going to again starting from the second stitch from the hook we are going to slip stitch so the first uh, second and third number the fourth slip stitch the fifth slip stitch the sixth slip stitch then seven and eight and nine so after the ninth slip stitch you will continue making three more single crochets into the basket so the first single crochet the second single crochet and the third single crochet now for the fourth single crochet what you're going to do is you're going to fold the handle this way and you're going to insert your or crochet hook into the last stitch of this handle so it doesn't matter which stitch the last loop available in the handle insert it and then insert it into the through the basket pull a loop and pull this loop through all the three stitches sorry three loops here so the second handle is also connected now you're going to make uh, 11 single crochets till you reach the uh, marked stitch or till you reach the first stitch so continue making 11 single crochets until you reach the first stitch so after this round we have one more round but if you prefer or you like the look of this basket you can stop with uh, this round itself now we're going to add one more round after this so once you have reached the last stitch you're going to again remove the marker and slip stitch to the first stitch so uh, here when you're slip stitching to the uh, first stitch slip stitch to the front loop only and then chain one and into the same front loop make a single crochet now mark this single crochet and this for this entire round we'll be working only on the front loop and we'll just make one single uh yes one single crochet in the front loop of each stitch so here we are making the single crochets in the front loop until we reach the handles i'll show you how to make the single crochets once we reach the handle so uh, once you reach the handle make the single crochet in the stitch before it and then fold the handle to the outer side so that you can access the single crochets on the uh, inner side and then insert through the front loop of these single crochets 
and then make the stitches so insert your hook into the single crochet right right after the starting of this first handle and then make a single crochet then make similar single crochets into the next few uh, stitches that is between the handle so make a single crochet through the front loop of the stitch which is at the base of the handle also and then continue making the single crochets through the remaining stitches as well so just make sure that you're making the single crochets on the front loop and uh, you're making one single crochet in each stitch so uh, for the handle part alone just make sure that you are not pushing the handle to the inner side of the basket while uh, you are making the single crochets so make sure that you are uh, pulling the handle to the outer side and then making the single crochets on top of it so continue making this so here too again i'll show you one more time so after making the uh, single crochet right before the handle where it starts uh, fold the handle in this way and uh, reach the stitches on the inner side and then make the single crochets there so you can make the single crochets on the three stitches between the uh, two handle edges and you can also make a single crochet on the um, base of the other end of the handle so here if you find a stitch available you can make a single crochet there as well and if you are you have missed one or two stitches it doesn't matter it's not gonna show so if it is possible make a stitch or at the base of the handle if not just skip it and uh, continue making the single crochets uh, right uh, after the end of the handle so continue this till you reach the first stitch and since this is the last round we are uh, after reaching the first stitch we are going to slip stitch so remove the marker and slip stitch to the entire stitch and then you're going to chain one and then pull tight to make a knot and then trim off this yarn now you're going to stitch uh, in the tail yarn first so there are two tail yarn one at the center uh, on the inner side so you can fold it this way so that the yarn is accessible and you can use either a needle or a smaller crochet hook and pull the tail yarn through a few of the existing stitches and hide this tail yarn so once you feel that the yarn is secure you can trim it off and then fold it back and then stitch the yarn on the side of this uh, basket and just it's better always to uh, take the make the stitches on the inner side of the basket because the inner side is uh, kind of hidden from the view so we'll make the stitches on the inner side and once you feel that the tail yarn is secure you can trim off the excess yarn so we are almost done with the basket now we're just checking if the coasters fit in so as you can see they fit in uh, perfectly inside the basket now to the base we are going to add the legs of the cauldron so these are the two handles so right next to the handle we're going to start the first leg so we're going to have four legs so there is no count here the first one you can mark it just next to the handle and after that uh, from that stitch you're going to start count 11 stitches so mark the 11th stitch so again from this marked stitch you're going to count another 11 stitches so you know that the base has uh, 40 stitches so we are just marking the stitches uh, like 10 stitches apart so mark the 11th stitch and start counting from that stitch again so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 
so this one fell in the join area so it doesn't matter so just connect it uh, I mean uh, place the marker so place the four markers uh, uh, with a space of 10 stitches between each and now take the brown yarn and we're going to make first a slip knot I'm still using the double strands of yarn that I use for the basket and I'm going to connect this slip knot to any of this front loop between the marked stitch so any stitch is fine just insert your hook into the front loop and uh, pull this uh, slip knot through it now we're going to uh, make slip stitches till you reach the marked stitch so make slip stitch into the next stitches into the next few stitches till you reach the marked stitch so only when you reach the marked stitch we are going to make one of the legs of this uh, pot or the cauldron so one more slip stitch and then we will reach the mark stitch so now take off the marker and into this stitch we are first going to uh, make a slip stitch and then we are going to make a chain of two and after that we are going to make five double crochets into the same stitch so this is the first double crochet and second double crochet the third double crochet the fourth double crochet and the fifth double crochet now take out the hook from this stitch and insert your hook into the second chain so we did the chain of two so insert your hook into the second chain here and then insert your hook into the last loop of the last stitch and then make a slip stitch now pull it tight and then into the very next stitch make one slip stitch and now continue making the slip stitches till you reach the next marked stitch so as you can see one of the leg here is uh, created so this leg is not exactly for like uh, making the pot stand off on it so uh, it is just for show i know i'm not sure if you will be able to make the pot pot stand on it but it does look like a cauldron and uh, I'm not sure maybe if you would want the pot to stand off it you have to make it more sturdy I guess so uh, you'll see the look at the end so we have reached the next marker so I'm going to remove it and into that stitch I'm going to first make a slip stitch and I'm going to then chain two and now into the same stitch I'm going to make five double crochets so the first double crochet the second double crochet the third double crochet the fourth double crochet and the fifth double crochet now take out the hook from uh, this last loop and insert your hook into the second loop uh, so sorry second chain of the first chain two that we made and uh, insert it to last and make a slip stitch now slip stitch into the very next stitch and then continue making the slip stitches till you reach the next marked stitch so continue with this pattern and here you can see how these two uh, legs of the cauldron looks so similarly repeat the pattern so we're just going to slip stitch till we reach the marked stitch and then once you reach the mark stitch we're going to repeat the pattern so first make a slip stitch and then chain two and then make five double crochets into the same stitch 
and then insert your hook into the uh, second chain and then make a slip stitch to the last stitch and then again slip stitch till you reach the fourth marker so this is the last leg that we are going to make we are going to repeat the same pattern to make this uh, leg as well and once you are done with the slip stitch now we are just going to uh, slip stitch the remaining stitches till we reach the first slip stitch of this round so here we are we have reached the last uh, of this round and then we're slip stitching to the first stitch as well then we're going to chain one and then pull the yarn tight to make a knot and then trim off this yarn and as usual you will be stitching in the tail yarn so we have two tail yarns at this point where the uh, uh, round ends so both the uh, tail yarns we are going to slip stitch uh, what you can do is you can also pull the tail yarn to the inner side of the basket and slip stitch it there so here as you can see i am pulling the tail yarn to the inner side of the basket because that way uh, it will even if something pokes out it's not going to look ugly so i'm just going to pull it to the inner side and then uh, complete my slip uh, stitching uh, of the yarn similarly do it for the other yarn also a slip stitch it uh, i mean sorry stitch it through the stitches on the inner side and you can also use a stiffening spray on top of this um, pot to hold its shape even better but since we are using double strand i think it this itself should hold uh, the shape and not be floppy so uh, so these two uh, different pots you can make it in brown or black and similarly for the portion also you can use uh, either the green or the purplish kind of uh, coasters and you can also mix both of them and that will look pretty as well uh, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications on new video and give me a thumbs up if this video was useful for you thank you very much for watching guys and have a great day